Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sideload using a Chromebook on your Oculus Quest or even on an Oculus Go. So you don't have to have a PC to do it, you can do it with a Chromebook, and it's actually not too tough to set up. So let's jump into this. Tyco Tech, Tech Reviews and Tutorials. Okay, first thing I want to do is I do want to give a shout out to a Reddit user. Uh, his name or the username is Prezicin, P-R-Z-E-C-I-N. Sorry if I murdered your username there. Uh, I will go ahead and link over to his Reddit thread on this. So go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Uh, he deserves a recognition for it. Um, but I'm going to take it a little bit farther and go over everything that you need to know. Uh, so first thing you're going to want to do is open up settings. Uh, on your Chromebook and we'll go ahead and do a screenshot of that right here and in the lower left hand corner You'll see Linux beta click on that and then you're going to click install I've already installed it. So I don't have the install button here um, Just click install it takes about five to ten minutes depending on how fast your Chromebook is for Linux to fully install on the Chromebook Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to SideQuest. I will provide a link down below. And you're gonna scroll down a little bit and you're gonna download this Linux version right here. So just click that and it will download. Next, you're gonna to go to your downloads folder. In the downloads folder, we'll see SideQuest and it's a tar.exe uh, compressed file. So it's kind of like a zip file. Um, double click it and if you don't have an app already on your Chromebook to extract it, you're just going to get an option. The first option for me was wicked good unarchiver. So I just clicked install and booms, it works. So then you're going to double click on that and then you'll see in the lower left hand corner uh, that will be your folder that is then unextracted or unarchived, you're going to grab it and you're just going to drag it over to Linux files, which will be a new thing on the left hand side since you've got Linux. Uh, it does take a minute because I think the actual extraction is happening once you drag it over to a new file location. So just be patient and then you can click on Linux files and you should see SideQuest. In our case, it's 075, but whatever version you've downloaded, boom. Um, any files that you want to use within the Linux system, you need to drag over to your Linux files right here. Uh, and we'll get back to that in a minute when it comes to uh, installing apps that you've downloaded from the web, not directly from SideQuest. Directly from SideQuest just works, um, but we'll jump into that in a second. Okay, so now you're going to want to open up your terminal. Uh, so just search for terminal, just T-E-R, and that'll be it. And we're going to go ahead and open up the terminal here. We are going to want to change directories to get over to that SideQuest <clears throat> directory. So that's uh, CD for change directory. This is case sensitive. So capital S, uh, capital Q, uh, and then 0 0.7.5, uh, I believe it is. Yep. All right. So now we are in side quest. And as you can see here, it's blue. Uh, that's indicating that we are in the side quest <clears throat> directory. All right. Now we need to apply a couple of permissions. Uh, and it's pretty simple here. So we're going to type in chmod uh, space u plus x u, the plus sign x. Uh, and then uh, side quest. And this is all lowercase side quest. And if it just pops forward like that, you know that it worked. If it gives you an error, couldn't find the folder or file or something, you type something in wrong. But if it just pops down a line, you know that you are good. Next, we need to uh, install the Libness 3 uh, library. So in order to do that, you're gonna type in a sudo. Let me just make sure I'm typing this in right. Uh, space apt slash get and i'm gonna provide uh everything written down below okay so you know exactly what to write there uh, apt dash get uh install uh l i b oops b n s s uh three and then it's gonna go through and it's gonna install it. I've already got it, so it's gonna be really quick. For you, it will say, hey, this is gonna add like 1.5 megabytes or something like that to the system. Go ahead and click yes, and then click enter. 
uh, and it's done, all right? So with me, I've already got it, so it's not gonna go through that, uh, but just type that in, click yes to confirm towards the end, and then click enter, and then bam, you are good to go. Now everything you need is ready to rip. Now this is how you launch SideQuest, and this is how you're gonna always have to launch SideQuest. You're gonna have to open up your terminal, you're gonna have to CD SideQuest 0, Seven five, just like we did at the top there. So this part right here, you're going to have to type this in to get into the side quest directory. Uh, and then you're just going to type in period forward slash side quest and it will launch. And it takes a second to launch it. It will automatically download and install your ADB drivers, which are the drivers uh, that you need to communicate with your Chromebook and the headset right there. So the first time you launch it, it will do that all by itself. I don't think it's gonna do it now because I've already done it. And then boom, here we go. So now let's go ahead and plug this in with the USB. You do need to enable developer mode on your headset. So if you haven't done that, I'll provide a link to a very short tutorial on how to do it. It is super, super simple. It's like a three minute video. So make sure that you've enabled developer mode on your headset. Uh, and then we're gonna plug in the headset with a USB cable. Uh, here, a like a dot a ding. And the lower left hand side, which you will see is a little pop up USB device connected. Go ahead and select connect to Linux. Okay, so that then forwards it over to Linux. Uh, and that's what we've got right here. Now you'll see at the top it says unauthorized. Put your headset on and select allow. So we're going to pop our headset on right here and we're going to allow it. So come on. And uh, inside the headset, you will see a box, check it, always allow from this computer, and then click OK. All right, so now we're good. And uh, give it a second here. And uh, yep, connect to Linux. If that pops up again, uh, but we should hear in a second, bam, it is now connected at the top. You're good to go. You are ready to start installing stuff from SideQuest. Easy peasy, beautiful cover girl. So that's it. So there's, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with this. Um, so if you're confused or you're like, hey, what about this app or that app or whatever, ask down below. Feel free to visit our Facebook group too. There's a lot of people doing this stuff over there. We've got close to 9,000 members. So come check that out. And I think that's it. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. If you guys have questions, again, ask in the comments down below. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if it helps. That really helps the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't already. Hit the bell button to get notified when I do these videos. That totally helps. And then you get notified when new cool videos drop. And uh, yeah, that is it, I think. Cool. I will see you guys in the next video.